Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today, we will unlock the book Getting to Yes, Negotiating Agreement Without Giving In. Negotiation is closely related to our lives. Every one of us is a negotiator in the sense that we all face various negotiation scenarios every day. Thus, negotiation is an essential skill that we should master. However, negotiation is not simple, and it is often hard to achieve good results. You may have encountered awkward situations like the following. Neither you nor the seller is willing to budge an inch while bargaining. Your boss rejects your request for a promotion or a pay raise. You argue with your colleague over differing proposals. So, is there any negotiation method that defends our interests while also satisfying the other party? Of course, there is. The book Getting to Yes, Negotiating Agreement Without Giving In proposes the Principled Negotiation, a general strategy that applies to various negotiation situations. This so-called principle refers to the inner appeal of interests. The key is to treat your negotiating partner as a collaborator and focus on basic interests. Then, search for solutions that satisfy both parties' common interests based on objective standards to achieve win-win outcomes. This book was published in 2009 and has been a bestseller ever since. It has also been recommended by John Kenneth Galbraith, the advisor to three United States presidents, Saris Roberts Vance, a former United States Secretary of State, and Ayn Rand, a famous writer from the United States. Getting to Yes, Negotiating Agreement Without Giving In was written by Roger Fisher, William Uri, and Bruce Patton. They are three senior experts from the Harvard Negotiation Project. They are not only researchers, but also practitioners in the field of negotiation. They provide professional negotiation consulting services for many individuals, companies, and even government agencies. Next, we will take you through the principle of negotiation from three perspectives so that you can see how this method is the secret to successful negotiations. Part 1. What are the drawbacks of positional bargaining? Part 2. What is principled negotiation? Part 3. What should we do when we meet tough opponents?